from King, who spoke to the media moments ago. Michael, you got yourself into some trouble in that first inning, but then settled down during the second and third before losing the strike zone again. What did you do to settle down in those two innings? Yeah, I, I felt like I was just nibbling. Um, I was getting down 1-0 to everybody, um, which obviously is not a good uh, a res recipe for success. And then uh, in between innings, Blake was saying it looks like I got a little rotational, um, especially when I got to the stretch, um, where when I was coming up, I just kind of was going – back instead of kind of staying uh, in, my, in my backside and getting down down the rubber. Um, but I, I got it back in that second and third. I still didn't have great glove side command, um, which then eventually got to me in that in that fourth inning. And I, I, I'm frustrated with myself because I, I let the umpire get in my head. I felt like I had a call and then I just couldn't get away from it. Um, and threw a bad 3-2 pitch and then next batter walked in um, easily where I just couldn't get locked back in, um, so I'm frustrated with myself for that. What what batter was that that you felt as though you let the umpire get in your head? Uh, I, I, the, I threw a 2-2 two -two pitch to Adamas that was actually a ball, um, and uh, I, I thought it was a strike, um, and then I just couldn't, couldn't get back from it. What do you take away from this outing? I'm happy to get my first start. Um, that was one of the goals going into this season, um, but it's kind of one of those I just got a flush. Uh, fastball command wasn't there, and, and that's kind of probably my strongest uh, uh, part of my whole baseball career. Um, so I'm kind of flushing it and then just kind of moving on to the next one just because I, I feel like next one, my, my fastball will be there. And when did they tell you that, that you were getting the start in game two? I, I, knew, I knew before game one um, that it was most likely going to happen. Um, and it was just like, unless something terrible happens in game one, then, uh, so I was down in the bullpen for the first like four innings. Um, but then and after that, I went back in, into the clubhouse and got ready. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll take the next one from Ken Davidoff. Hey, Michael, were you, uh, eating something after the first inning? <laughs> yeah, that, that's funny. My mom actually texted me about that. Um, <laughs> but she she was like oh, i'm just being a mom did you get food that kind of thing. I, I usually always eat um i, I ate in i think it was like the fifth inning or it was the sixth inning of the previous game and then i i noticed that when i started i always kind of hit a wall in like that fourth or fifth inning where i just got really tired and i felt like it was because i didn't eat since a couple hours before the game um so i i make it a thing where i always eat after it's usually after the second uh this time i did it after the first and usually it's after like the fourth so, uh, yeah, I just had like a, a little, um, it's, I don't know, it's like a honey kind of energy bar thing. All right, thanks. Yep. Thank you, Ken. Any other questions for Michael? Brian Hope, please unmute. Hey, Michael, uh, congratulations on making your first start. Um, I'm sure you would have liked to have had uh, your family there. Um, you know, what was the conversation like just talking to your parents? Yeah, they're, uh, they're still proud of me. Um, but uh, yeah, I, obviously I just would have had rather uh, better results than, than I did. Um, but I mean, I, I know they're, they're in my corner always. Um, my mom was with my grandpa watching. My dad's actually up in Maine and he was watching with his cousin. So they're all there. So uh, it, it's, it's nice knowing that they, they got my back. So with